Hi guys, welcome to today's Pick A Card reading and it is Spirit Guide Messages. I hope you're all well. Welcome to anyone new, welcome back to anyone returning. My name's Kat. I hope you enjoy the reading today. It is just a short snapshot reading, so literally, literally about three or four minutes, or two or three minutes even, per group. So it is very short. I am planning on just pulling a few extra clarification cards from this Kawaii Tarot deck. So we've got a few Lightseer's Tarot and then a couple of Doreen Virtue Romance Angels. I'm just reading these generally, they're not romance specific, as in they are, but I'm not reading them that way. I like to use them this way, so I hope you enjoy today's reading. Spirit Guide Messages is just that, a general, um, uh, a general bit of advice for this week or the situation or question you have in mind. Okay, so group one, group two, group three. Here we go, Spirit Guide Messages. Hi Group One, how are you doing? So Spirit Guide Messages, we've got Nine of Wands, Ace of Coins, The Magician, Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups, Flirt and Finances and Career. So they're saying this is something that you're kind of flirting with. This is something, <laughs> or you should flirt with. So if it's an idea or a problem or a situation, it's like, Approach this lightly. Think about it in a fun way. Think about it in an upbeat way. I definitely think this is something you can manifest. This is something that you've struggled a lot with. So it could be a situation or it could be that this week, as you begin this week, things have been difficult the previous week. And, you know, so things have been a bit heavy or a bit difficult. What I'm seeing here is, though, there is the opportunity to manifest something positive, to put the seed in the ground and to move forward. What I see though is that there is some issue around finance and career. There is some issue around cash flow or money regarding this situation. That said, with the Ace of Coins and the Magician, I do feel like you can manifest what you need in this situation. The Ace of Coins does suggest that if you can make this work or start this new project or whatever, it could pay off in the long run. With the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups, I feel like, you know, you've had a uh, a sense of defensive energy or a bit of a run of bad luck or something has felt kind of a bit edgy with the seven of swords but with the eight of cups i see you moving on from that moving forward being a lot uh, happier and moving on to better days i think the energy around this situation or issue or question is to keep things light to keep things happy to keep things kind of positive to keep going basically to don't don't give up and kind of have a playful energy towards it um and just be aware of the finances around this situation yeah okay so we've got death so something has ended i see this with this seven of swords something has been going on but you've got the ten of coins you're gonna be you're gonna win here you're gonna get the happily ever after financially materially there's gonna be a positive um, manifestation here all right so but I do see that you lost something yeah knight of cups you're going to have something's going to be offered to you so you're going to get the offer that you want um something is lost but you move on from this and it's a good situation for you so yeah I hope this makes sense and brings some clarity to your situation this week thanks guys see you on the next reading Hi, group two. How are you doing? So, spirit guide messages regarding this week or your situation. So, we've got the four of swords, page of swords, strength, temperance, the star. You deserve love and make the effort. So, what I'm saying, seeing here is that there's something that you're recovering from. There's something that you are dealing with, recovering from you've kind of, or you've been dormant over. So there's something that you've not acted on recently or there's something that you've been recovering from, leaving alone or something. What I see with the Page of Swords is you've got some ideas as to how to break free of this old situation, how to start moving forward. So they're really, it's a really good idea. If you're asking about a specific situation, I feel like they're saying it's a good idea. Um, if it's going to break you free of this old situation, we've got the... Uh, um, the strength card here and temperance so I do think that whatever you, this is about or what's going on for you this week you do need to show maturity uh, courage focus uh, and a, like a balanced mature 
wisdom regarding this situation. If you can, you've got the star, which is this new beginning, phoenix rising from the ashes, you getting a dream come true, things working out for you. I think it will work out for you. I think things can work out for you. What they're saying is you deserve this. You deserve this positive outcome. And it is going to be a very positive outcome for you. But you do need to make the effort. You do need to put the, the work in. And it is going to require you to, like I say, take this idea, but really channel a sort of higher level energy and really be mature and focused and very tranquil and very open in order to bring this new beginning towards you. Let's have a quick look um, for a couple of clarifications. Nine of Wands. Yeah, you've definitely had some hardship, some struggle. And they're saying that this is you rising up again. Yeah, there's been some, with the devil, there's been some sort of fears or some entrapment. And I see that this is you, this is your chance now to move forwards. But there's some fear. Okay, so that's interesting. Hierophant, fear uh, with the moon. The devil and the moon together, there's definitely been some fear and some difficulty around this topic or this situation or around recent weeks. They're saying keep going, dig deep. You're not as far away from your outcome or your ultimate aim as you think you are. With the Hierophant, I see you, I bet you are on the right track here. Keep moving, keep learning and more than anything, follow that inner ding, that inner light and listen to your wisdom and what you've learned because that's going to help you. Whatever you learned in this recovery period, allow that to inform you and keep moving in this new and positive direction. Thanks, group two. I'll see you on the next reading. Bye for now. Hi, group three. How are you doing? So this is Spirit Guide Messages for this week or your question or situation. We've got the Nine of Cups, the Empress, the Ten of Swords. The Fool, the Queen of Wands, Trust and Codependency. So what I see is that this, this situation, there's a lot of potential happiness here. Could be to do with um, pregnancy or birth for some of you because this Empress, not only can it mean this, it's so visual. Um, but they're saying there's a lot of happiness available to you. There's a new start available to you. Um... They're saying that, you know, there's something about taking a leap because the nine of cups here, this person is leaping and the fool is the leap of faith. With the ten of swords, something didn't work out or something was painful or difficult to do with manifesting something you wanted or getting something you wanted. But I feel like they're saying, you know, the worst is behind you now. New, The new dawn is on the horizon. Take the leap of faith in this new direction. You know, allow yourself to go in this new direction. Learn and grow out of this understanding. The Empress and the Queen of Wands are both manifestations of the Divine Feminine for me in the Major Arcana and the Minor. So this is all about you really finding your true self, really going in a new and wonderful direction where you feel really, really like tapped in, tuned in, turned on, and you're really in a good place. With trust, they're saying this situation is calling for you to have faith. Yeah, so you've got to take a leap of faith and trust trust that it will be right. So if you choose this or if you're faced with something this week and you feel that it is right for you and it is the right direction for you and it's this new light, positive direction, you are going to have to trust a little to take this leap of faith. Watch out for codependency. Watch out that you're not letting addictive, clingy, needy feelings or old pains keep you in a bad place. That's the only thing is just watch out for codependency around this. Uh, for some of you, that is a little bit of an issue. Don't get trapped in this old pain. Let go of codependency, you know, or watch out for codependency. It's the only fly in the ointment this week. Clarifying cards of the Page of Swords. This is a good idea. They're basically saying it's a good idea. Tower. Yeah, so I don't feel like this is a tower now. I think that there's been a tower moment with this Ten of Swords. You had some sort of big collapse or something didn't work. And this is a new start for you. Interesting. Um, That was there. No, it's not right. Okay, sorry. There was just a card on top, but it's not right. A Six of Wands and the Three of Cups. Okay, so you've got a new idea to overcome this collapse, to overcome this disappointment, to overcome this thing that went wrong. Six of Wands is going to bring you success joy, happiness. Three of Cups is going to bring you uh, happily ever after, a union, a reunion, 
uh, celebration with family and friends is a good situation. This is a great opportunity to jump off from that old disappointment or pain. All they're saying is watch out for clingy energy, watch out for codependency. Don't bring that into the mix if you can avoid it. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful week. Loads of love and I'll see you on the next reading. Bye for now.